so hello everyone today we are doing the calibration of millimeter as a voltmeter the experiment so there are uh, input is 46 volt dc then there are one uh, potential liberator means they are used that then one voltmeter is there the rating of this voltmeter 0 to 30 volt and one uh, milliampere is the rating 0 to 250 uh, milliamps then one rheostat there are two rheostat actually so the rating of this first rheostat is 5 ampere 24 ohms and the next one is 2.8 ampere and so 22 uh, 220 ohms the rheostat we can vary vary this rheostat actually there are, uh, then this this is the voltage dc rating of this uh, voltmeter is 0 to uh, 30 volt uh, dc then the next one is milliampere ampere dc 0 to uh, there are two readings are there for see uh, 500 milli ohms then uh, one is 250 milli ohms so the down scale is 240 or 250 almost then the upper one is 480 but it's up to 500 so uh, we are using this equipment for this experiment so one uh, rheostat is there one rheostat is uh, this one we are because using this rheostat as a potential divider so we just see then how to do this potential divider the rating of this rheostat is 24 ohms 5 amps then the another one is 220 ohms 2.8 amps so let's see how to do this experiment this two air this one positive and this one negative first time connect the positive point this one positive output at two air boot join and one air input and another air output another air with two air join one input another air output connect the milliampere common point okay millimeter output input real state common point so the first thing we have to do that uh, the positive is connected to see this positive is connected to potential divider input it, that means this positive this positive is connected to potential divider input then this output is connected to output is connected to voltmeter positive it means the output is connected to this voltmeter positive so then we have complete this part then left this part so this voltmeter and uh, rheostat common point is connected to emitter input that means this point is connected to this is milliammeter connected to this point common then output is connected to rheostat then see output is connected to this rheostat and connect the negative point another two wire another two one wire connect the output What join input voltmeter output point and this will output again connect the review step upper point okay connection is finished so left the negative wire is connected to rheostat so see uh, this negative is connected to the connect the rheostat then the rheostat connected to one voltmeter then the rheostat so this is the negative wire negative wire connected to this voltmeter and voltmeter is connected to this rheostat see this rheostat there are four points are there see one then two three and one four 
so we if we need the variable one then we have to connect this point and this point same thing this point and this point if we need the fixed one then we have to connect this point and this point input this output this then we get the uh, fixed value from this real state now let's see how to do this experiment already we have connect uh, this to, uh, this is this is we are using just like a potential divider so input is that part we are common negative then negative is connected to this volt voltmeter tc then voltmeter is connected to rheostat let's see how to do this experiment so now the table is there first substandard voltmeter reading and millimeter reading then equilibrium voltage correction so we have to calculate see uh, now now the input current is provided from this uh, board then switch on see see the voltmeter reading this high, highest reading then 30 is the highest reading uh, and see the then we have to move this real state at the highest value then we have to fix this real state at the highest value 250 see this is the highest value of 250 then we have to move slowly this real state then see uh, the reading this is the substandard voltage 30 30 is the substandard 30 then the reading of this millimeter 250 250 then slowly move like this then see this is the how much 27 so this is the 27 then rating of this millimeter is 240 to in between the then slowly move then again we got uh, 25 this is the 220 then so here we are getting this result see this is the substandard voltage and this is the milliamps reading then see the equivalent voltage this v equilibrium so we have to calculate first k value so see k is, is equal to v by i it means this v and this i see we have to calculate v is how much uh, v is 30 divided by 250 so 30 divided by 250 so the k value is 0 0.12 0 0.12 then k value is 0 0.12 so v equivalent is equal to k how much 0 0.12 into what i i is how much 250 so into 250 so it means 30 so this value is 30 first is value 30 then k is constant so 0.12 is constant again what v equivalent how much k into i k is 0.12 into 230 so how much 0.12 into 230 27.6 so uh, then we have to calculate just like this uh, k is 0 0.12 into uh, into 215 then 0 0.12 into 200 we can calculate like this so here you see uh, k value is 0 0.12 already we are getting then 30 27 just like then the correction is uh, V minus V EQ. It means V is the value is V is your V D is on. V equivalent means this value. 
then we are getting this result 0 0 0.4 just like then 0 0.8 0 0.9 up to 0 0.4 so then we have to plot the graph see this is our calibration graph calibration graph then calibration graph we have to put this value this part is substandard value the value of this substandard voltage just like 30 28 or something then this part is see this part is millimeter uh, value this part is millimeter this is for substandard uh, calibration graph first this calibration then we have to draw we have to draw this correction graph see the correction graph correction graph uh, we have to put the value in this axis just like uh, this correct correction value this correction value there is zero zero then this is minus positive this part is for correction and this part is for uh, millimeter readings see this is the millimeter this is the millimeter reading so here the, the we can get the result just like this so thank you so much